guys, I'm Melissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today I've got another healthy what I eat in a day as a vegan who follows lower calorie density video. And uh, I filmed these just to give you ideas and inspiration. Obviously I want you to make meals that you genuinely enjoy and that you feel, taste delicious, and you're happy and excited about eating. So if you see that I'm eating potatoes and you're like, I don't like regular potatoes, then try sweet potatoes. Or if you don't like chickpeas, then try black beans or lentils. And same with all the different spices and flavorings that I put on everything. Um, I recommend you kind of experimenting with this way of eating yourself and uh, find what you really enjoy. And you know, that's kind of one of the keys to sticking with this long term is to genuinely enjoy the food. If you are new to my channel and new to calorie density, I'm gonna put a ton of helpful links and resources in the description box of this video. The quick Reader's Digest version of calorie density is basically diluting the concentration of calories in your food. So less calories per bite of food, but not less food. In fact, the amount of food, the you know portions that you're eating will likely be larger because in order to get yourself full, you know, you're gonna have to eat a little bit more because the food is lower in calories per pound. So when you see what I'm eating, the food is almost entirely under 700 calories per pound of food. So this is a no oil way of eating. I do not add oil to my food. Oil is actually at the very, very high end of the calorie density scale at almost 4,000 calories per pound. To give you an idea of what that means, zucchini, for example, is 76 calories per pound. So now that's a huge difference in the calories for an equal amount of food. Okay, it is smoothie time and today I'm making a mango spinach banana smoothie with lots of cinnamon, a little bit of stevia, and I'm using about 16 ounces of water. Okay, we've got our banana in there. I'm adding in a ton of cinnamon now. Mango chunks. A handful of spinach. Okay, we've got our stevia and now we're just going to add in the water. And again, I'm using a Ninja food processor to blend this up. Nice and thick and creamy. Mango goodness. Mm. I think mango smoothie might be giving berry smoothie a run for its money. All right, I've got a super easy lunch here today, guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice up this tofu and bake it on a baking tray. Uh, at about 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. And I'm going to season it with everything that you see here, some liquid smoke and all of these spices. And I'm going to use about a third of a can of these chickpeas, rinse them off really well first. And then I'm gonna slice up these Roma tomatoes that are very ripe and ready to eat and about a third of that onion back there. And uh, that's it. Really, really easy lunch. Also a really easy meal to make extra of. And then so you can have lunch the next day or if you feel like having even more of it, you can just have that for dinner as well. So here's the tofu. Now I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of liquid smoke all over it. Give it that hickory flavor. And some black pepper. garlic powder, paprika, dill, garlic powder, and chili powder. 
very, very, very flavorful. And tofu just absorbs whatever flavor you put on it. All right, here is the tofu now that it has baked and it is looking nice and crispy and delicious. Now I just need to add my sriracha and we're done. Time to enjoy. As a snack, I'm gonna slice up these two apples and have them. I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to answer some of your questions and clarify some information. I've received a few very similar comments and questions, so I'm just going to answer those for you now. So one, people are asking me, how long is it gonna take me to lose 10 pounds? Or, you know, I I'm gonna give this two weeks and if I don't lose the weight, then that's it, I'm, I'm throwing in the towel and I'm, I'm not trying to lose weight anymore. Or, you know, similar things like this that have to do with speed of weight loss and, and needing to see certain numbers on the scale. And I really, really, really encourage you to focus on the process of eating, filling healthy plant starch-based meals and not focusing on the number. I know that is so counterintuitive and all you wanna do is just weigh yourself every day so that you can see that number coming down. Weighing yourself like this every single day can actually be very discouraging and it can derail all of your good plans and intentions that you have. For example, if you spend two days eating perfectly diligent, healthy, starchy, green veggie meals and you know you're so proud of yourself you're feeling great because you've been making these healthy decisions and then you step on the scale hoping that you're going to see that number drop and you're like yes i bet you i've lost two pounds and lo and behold you see that the number hasn't changed at all or maybe you've gone up a pound right away you're feeling like oh no this isn't going to work for me or i've done something wrong and you're beating yourself up inside and that's why i do not encourage people to weigh themselves every single day because they're so many different variables. Water retention and so many other things can be, play a factor in, in the number that you see on the scale. Whether or not your body fat is going up and down is a slow process. And I know people don't like to hear that, especially because we're so used to hearing all the gimmicky things out there like lose seven pounds in seven days or lose 10 pounds by summer and all of these things that are you know, uh, very enticing and we want to believe that that's how it works. But fat loss is a slow and steady process. I just want you to focus on including as much of these lower calorie dense, healthy plant-based foods in your diet um, as possible and let your body do the work. All I can tell you is my own experience. And for me personally, I lost about a half a pound a week. Sometimes I would notice it would be one pound a week, but never anything more than that. It was a very slow and steady process and I was completely okay with that. I was really focused on making the meals as enjoyable as possible. So experimenting with spices and seasoning and just different ingredients so that I could really enjoy eating this way as much as possible because I just didn't want it to be about me sitting there eating bowls of plain bland salad. That's not going to work long term for me. I like to enjoy my food and so I was more focused on that and not the number because I knew my body would just get to whatever weight it got to and I, I didn't have a number in mind either and that's something else I recommend. You might think like I want to get down to 150 pounds or I want to be one 110 just lower the calorie density of your food eat until you're full and let your body get to where your body is gonna get to and to just trust that that's right and it's a little saddening to hear the amount of people who are like I'm gonna give this 10 days and if it doesn't work I'm quitting it's like going into it with that mindset just makes it seem like you're putting yourself through this struggle and I don't believe that Eating should be like that. Like if you really hate the food, then find foods that you do like. I'm sure if you, if you don't like potatoes, then try sweet potatoes. If you don't like brown rice, then try jasmine rice. If you don't like chickpeas, then eat black beans. Like you don't have to copy exactly what I'm eating. This is just for ideas and for you know inspiration. But I really encourage you to make the meals pleasurable for you so that you, know, you don't even have to focus on the weight loss. It just happens as a result of eating this way. Okay, for dinner, I am going to make pasta with zucchini, onion, and some tomato sauce. I have some leftover tomato sauce from a can that I opened a few days ago. 
So I've sliced up one entire zucchini and I'm gonna slice up half of an onion. And zucchini is very, very, very low on the calorie density scale at 76 calories for an entire pound of zucchini. Anytime you add zucchini to one of your meals, you're really decreasing the overall calorie density of that meal. And while pasta might not be something that you would think of as a weight loss food, if you are making a third or half of your plate of pasta filled with green veggies, then um, it's really kind of essentially diluting the overall calorie density of that dish. You know what, I actually decided I'm going to add some sweet peas into this zucchini pasta dish as well. As a snack, I'm going to bake this large sweet potato and I'm just gonna have it with some ketchup, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt. And I put it in the oven, because it's a large one, probably for about 50 minutes, 5-0, at 425 Fahrenheit. And it, it may even need a little bit longer than that, but I'll just, uh, I'll check it at that point just to see how it's going. So I ended up leaving it in there for about an hour and it's nice and soft now. Just gonna cut it up. Garlic powder and some salt. There we go. Super easy and very filling snack. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so that you're notified of my future uploads. And uh, also check out the playlist on my channel called Weight Loss. That's where I put all of the videos under this topic so that you can find them in one place. I will put a link to it in the description box down below as well. And I think that's it guys. I will see you next time. Have a great day, bye.